Hello, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe and share. Turn the notification on so you would be notified each time we upload a new video. One has to say that South Africans have now had enough of this issue of illegal immigration. Ordinary South Africans are the one who has ensured that they deliver the message, so that everyone can know how these illegal foreigners are impacting the lives of ordinary citizens in the country, because the government was nowhere to be found. We have seen that previously South Africans were being referred to as being xenophobic when they try to raise this issue. Many of the government officials were nowhere to be seen trying to take a stand on this issue. But now it looks like the message has infiltrated even those ministers in the country. Many of them are now coming out and starting to talk about this issue of illegal foreigners in the country. It is about high time that something is done about this issue. It is a well-known fact that most of the people who commit crimes in this country are foreigners, and when people talk like this, some would say that crime should not be nationalized. But with the current volatile situation that South Africa is facing, there is no way that crime will not be nationalized. We first saw the Minister of Social Development Lindu Zulu, saying that foreigners especially Zimbabweans, need to go back to their country, and be looked after by their government. South Africa is doing the same for its people, and it cannot to expect it to look after citizens of another country who are even in the country illegally. Now we have a Minister of Transport Fikul Mbalula, also talking about the issue of illegal immigration, and that it should be solved. If these foreigners are deported back to their country, then some of the problems that South Africa has will be solved automatically, because the employers will have no choice but to hire locals, and even crime will reduce. The Zimbabweans have become too extra comfortable in this country to the point where they even march to stay in this country. They want to continue living in this country even though they see that they are not wanted. They have now overstayed their welcome, and it is time for them to go. South Africans will not rest until these people are sent back to where they come from, even if it is the last thing they do. Again, President Cyril Ramaphosa has finally come out of his closet, and answered the 31 questions which the suspended public protector Busin Kwabin posed to him. The questionnaire is about the theft which took place at his Fala Fala game farm. This was made known by the public protector's spokesperson Alpa Segal. We confirmed the receipt, said Segal. Ramaphosa's initial silence in regards to the questions has caused a loss of confidence towards him by responding he has averted a planned subpoena. The president's response was three days late when it was submitted on Friday morning. The contents are not yet a public matter. The answers were supposed to have been submitted by Monday 18 July, which was a second deadline set for him. The president did ask for extension on Monday, but it was denied on the day. According to his spokesperson Vincent Maguena, the president's reply was sent at 10 a.m. on Friday. Maguena said, there was never an intention not to respond to the public protector. Following his failure to respond on Monday, on Tuesday at Kalika Kalika, acting public protector, said she will compel President Cyril Ramaphosa to respond to Adfbusa Sumkwebing, who is currently suspended. 